Hola, muy buenas, fanáticos de los videojuegos. Aquí estamos de vuelta con más contenido y hoy vamos a hablar de la nueva expansión y el nuevo contenido de Diablo 4, que casualmente yo me lo compré esta semana. Vamos para allá. Diablo 4 presenta su nueva expansión con tráiler y confirma lo que muchos esperaban. En vez de los Hatred, tendremos una nueva clase de personaje. Pues vamos a verlo. ¿Qué es lo que toca? Bueno, esto es la presentación de Diablo para la Blitzcom, así que vamos a reaccionar. Por abajo lo dejamos en subtitulado para que podáis entender, y yo también, por supuesto. Eh, un vídeo de 10 minutos que vamos a reaccionar y así nos centramos de todos. Hola, Ferguson, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Now, you might have missed it, but in there was a clip of a blind gamer, Tylenif, defeating our hardest boss, Uber Lilith. Now, we strive to make Diablo as approachable and as accessible as possible, and watching clips like that make me and the... Un chico ciego matando a Lilith. Ya he hecho más que yo, porque yo aún voy level 25. And, you know, I still can't believe over... Me encanta, eh. Una anotación. Yeah. Diablo 4 me encanta. At our Hells Inc. events including me. And so, you know, Necromain for life. Aquí celebramos la fiesta aunque se haya pasado ya, o sea, nos da igual. Nos unimos a la fiesta rápidamente. Me gusta, me gusta Diablo y he visto por ahí vídeos de youtubers que si está acabado, que si está... ¿Cómo va a estar acabado? Si lleva unos meses. Eso no puede estar acabado. Hay gente muy dramática. Yo lo estoy jugando y me está pareciendo un juego magnífico, de los mejores Diablos que he jugado nunca. And Diablo Immortal brought Sanctuary to mobile for the first time, bringing millions of new players into our universe. In fact, you might not know this, but 60% of Diablo Immortal players have never played a Diablo game before. So we really welcome Diablo Immortal no es un mal juego. Lo que pasa es que al ser gratis, pues... Diablo 4. Now... <laughs> It was that kind of excitement that made it the biggest launch in Blizzard's history, and it means so much to the team to see how you've embraced it. You know, we've played over 1.5 billion hours together so far, and it's your love for the game that drives us. Thanks to you, we've made a lot of changes over the last five months. In fact, our patch notes for Season of Blood, our second season, were over 14,000 words long, because that is how much our community has influenced and will continue to influence the evolution of Sanctuary. And if you haven't yet made it, you know, made that leap into the darkest Diablo story ever told, now is the perfect time to pick your class, build your character, join Phil Spencer, <laughs> and see what the hell it's all about. And with that, I'd like to introduce Diablo 4's two production directors. They help lead the teams who are building everything we do today and everything moving forward. Please welcome Tiffany Watt and Chris Wilson. Come on. <laughs> Bueno, bueno, la verdad me está gustando mucho Diablo 4. Ya tenía pensado yo hacer un vídeo hablando, pero bueno, ha salido esta expansión y vamos a dedicarle este. So many of you have told us that you wanted more in-game activities. So we've given you a couple this season, one now and another coming early next month. So live now is our new boss ladder. This is a series of additional boss fights from level 55 to 100 that will also see the return of our kind of gross but farmable and rewarding friend Duriel. Ha dicho que tiene 100 niveles, 100 niveles. Uh, wow. And with those new bosses, dropping both Uniques and Uber Uniques at a much higher rate, and even dropping some special cosmetics, you're going to want to make your way to level 100 so you can fight them all. 
So in the season of blood, we rebalance the end game, letting you get to level 100 about 40% faster than in season one. No sé si me gusta, no sé si me gusta, no lo sé. Yo quiero llegar cada uno a su tiempo, pero bueno, 40% más rápido, llegar al 100. Bueno. Of course, all that leveling is about getting that amazing loot. So we've also changed how item power works. We've raised the power cap, and it's now more closely tied to the level of monster you defeat to get it. The more challenging the fight, the better the loot. There's still lots of work to be done with reworking itemization. In fact, it's one of our highest priorities. But this, along with upgrades to some of our unique items, is a great first step. So please keep that feedback coming. Now let's talk about quality of life. Here's a few improvements that came directly from you. Claro, porque la comunidad es que es bien entendida de Diablo y les manda mensajes a, a los de Blizzard para que digan, quiten esto, pongan esto, esto no vale, aquello sí. We added two this season, so you can create even more characters and try different builds. A targeting dummy has been added to Kiovashad, as you can test, so you can test those builds before you run into the butcher. Searching and filtering your stash is now possible, and your stash is now available in every town in Sanctuary. <laughs> bueno, bueno, yo estoy level 25, aún no, aún no sé la importancia de muchas cosas de las que está diciendo, pero bueno, me gusta. We've also freed up some inventory space by making gems a crafting material to make even more room for those uber uniques. <laughs> la gente aplaudiendo por cosas que necesitaban. But we're not done with Season of Blood yet. In fact, starting next week, we'll introduce five unique class-specific rings that will let you relive some of the fun from Season of the Malignant. That's right, Necromancers. Once again, corpses will automatically do your bidding just by being in your presence. <laughs> Then on December 5th, we'll also be adding an enchanting preview to the Occultist. So this will allow you to see which affixes are possible before you spend your hard-earned gold. It's just another way to give you even more control over making just the right build for the challenge at hand. Also on December 5th, as promised, we'll have another exciting new, new in-game activity, a six-week event called Abattoir of Zir. It's a highly replayable pinnacle experience designed for players who have reached level 100, slain Uber Duriel, and mastered all of the other challenges that Season of Blood has to offer. Those who survive will attain a Paragon Glyph constructed of the Vampire Lord's very own blood. But beware, Abattoir of Zir starts difficult and only gets harder. And of course, as we near the end of Season of Blood, it'll be holiday time, not only here, but in Sanctuary as well. Our first ever holiday event, Midwinter Blight, starts on December 12th. <laughs> for, for three weeks, we're going to transform the fractured peaks into a winter terror land, and it'll bring a whole new meaning to the word sleigh ride. <laughs> and be sure to keep your eyes peeled for. Son bien cachondo esta gente de Blizzard, eh? Le gusta la interactuación con. Terrifying as Chris's puns, but I will be sure to check out Midwinter Blight. Menos aquella vez que presentaron Diablo Inmortal y la gente les cayó a palos, pero bueno, se lo pasan bien. Being so important, let's talk about leaderboards. Más en game, más características. De momento me viene bien, estupendo. Cuanto más cosas le meta mejor. A eventos de Navidad, en fin. Aquí hemos venido a ver el tráiler de la nueva expansión que me tocará pasar por caja. Ya bien podían haberla metido en el último, pero bueno, me tocará comprarla como DLC. And while the live game is our number one priority right now, we have a separate Diablo 4 team that's been working hard on our next chapter. So how about a little teaser? Yeah. It's super early, but as we look to expand on the story we started in Diablo 4, we're going to take you somewhere even darker where hatred's influence continues to consume Sanctuary. Para ellos tiene que ser bien fácil hacer expansiones, ¿eh? Pero vamos allá, vamos a verla. Yeah. 
have abdicated your choice to this child. And with every step she takes, I grow stronger. There will be no salvation in the light. Hombre! Bueno, 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 bueno. Aplaudan, aplaudan. Vessel of Hatred is Diablo 4's first expansion. No han enseñado nada, eh. Básicamente un tráiler pequeño ahí. Eh. No se ha visto ni personaje nuevo ni nada. Turn the fate of the prime evil Mephisto and his demonic plans for Sanctuary. To do that, we'll be visiting a region new to Diablo 4 and a fan favorite from Diablo 2. The lush jungles known to outsiders as Torajan, but known by the locals as Nahantu. With this new story set in a mysterious new region, comes new ways to play, new evils to vanquish, and of course, a completely new class never seen before in the Diablo universe. <laughs> Una clase nunca antes vista en Diablo. Bueno, quién sabe cuál será. Un invento o cualquiera. Quiero saber que es tu pasión que nos nos Tu feedback va a continuar a ayudarnos a evolucionar y mejorar la Diablo 4 experiencia por años que vengan. No podemos ser más excited sobre nuestro futuro y esperamos que tú también. Nuestro equipo ha puesto mucho trabajo y nos encanta ver tu amor por este juego. Así que por favor, please join us tomorrow. Uh, we have a special Diablo 4 campfire panel where we'll be sharing more details about the expansion, a uh, deeper dive on some of the upcoming game changes, and we'll also have a special Q&A session to close it out. So enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you, and we'll see you in Sanctuary. Oh. Bueno, 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 pues esta ha sido la presentación de Diablo 4 de la BleachCom. Espero que les haya gustado. Les animo a pillarse el juego porque yo estoy disfrutando de lo lindo. Así que bueno, feliz sábado, abrazo bien fuerte. Nos vemos en el próximo vídeo. Vamos que nos vamos.